All right, what's up, YouTube? So I, I posted a couple of videos of some uh, of my sprouts that I've been transplanting with y'all. Um, I posted a couple of photos on Facebook. Um, so basically, I posted the Desert King variety and all the other varieties that we already went over. Right here, I, I have the Crimson Sweet variety. So I just basically wanted to make a video um, showing how I achieved this result. I, I did make a video previously on it, but I want, I'm gonna make another one. So um, as you can see here, there's nearly a hundred or so seedlings in here. Um, I'm not gonna bother counting them, but we can see that there's, we can plainly see that there's obviously a lot of seedlings in here. And one unique thing to note to note about this is every seedling is growing upright. So normally when you see gardeners germinating seeds in uh, Ziploc bags on napkins, you don't really see upright growing seedlings at all. I'm the, I'm, I may be the first person that I've seen who had upright seedlings. Um, people ask me how they got so tall, yada, yada. Well, it's basically because the bag is standing upright and I leave this Ziploc bag open. But we're gonna save that for later. Uh, before we get to that, we're gonna focus on how we get to this. So first and foremost, uh, most importantly, we need to pick out which watermelon variety we want to grow. So, um, let's see if I have some Royal Golden seeds in here. I wanted to do a Royal Golden this season. And yes, I do have Royal Golden. And, um, should I do a Morning Stars? I think I'm gonna do a uh, Morning Stars uh, later this week. Let's work on Royal Golden. I wanna get too greedy, right? So, sorry about that. Bathroom, uh, I'm in my bathroom right now. I like to germinate my seeds in here since it gets kind of warm. You know, when you take showers and whatnot, that, uh, that heat helps to germinate those seedlings a little bit quicker. So first and foremost, you want your seeds. Second, you're going to want a napkin, which is more important than the Ziploc because the napkin is what's holding that water. All right. Let's tear a section off of that napkin. We don't need the whole thing. Let's point this a little bit downward, shall we? All right. So, ba so basically, first we're going to Mark this off with the RG for Royal Golden. If you're only planting one variety, you could put the initial or you can just write the name out. Royal Golden. Um, won't affect the germination in any uh, shape or form. Um, so we have, uh, we have our bag labeled. So we have our variety that we want to grow. We have our bag labeled. Now, I'm going to place the napkin into the bag. It's been, it's been easy so far, hasn't it? This, this isn't a challenging method. All right, now we have the napkin inside the bag. You can see I tore, the, I tore a, a piece that can almost fit the whole bag. Now you don't want the napkin to stretch past the locks of the Ziploc. We won't be um we won't be um putting seeds past there. Hold on. Alright, yeah, so we won't be putting seeds past this uh zip point. So there's no reason to have the napkin that far, that far up. So this is the Royal Golden Golden, uh 25 seeds. Pay four dollars fifty cents for the packet, uh, packed for twenty twenty two. So these are uh, fresh seeds that were packed last year in twenty twenty one, and they are packed for the twenty twenty two growing season. Oh uh, yeah, we have a bunch of seeds in there. Um, so now we're gonna open up the ziplock. Uh, being careful not to fold that napkin, bend it in any way, shape, or form. Just gonna pour some seeds in there. And when I say some, I mean the whole packet. 
is up to you how many you want to put in there. Um, with the napkin method, germination is always excellent. You always want to get your highest germination rates on the napkin. So if you want to test germination, you can use the napkin. But I suggest if you want to test the uh, seeds that you still plant them on. I don't think it's wise to uh, just waste your seeds like that just to see if they'll sprout. You know they're going to sprout. That's what seeds do, right? Have this right here. This is a water bottle. It's going to poke a hole in the top. A little hole there. You want to fill it up and, uh, under the tap. Well, not fill it up, but just enough water. Okay. Just enough water. Now basically all I'm gonna do is, this is the hardest step. I'm gonna pour some water in there. Now when you do it perfectly, this whole napkin will be saturated and there won't be any excess water inside the Ziploc. You can see how that water is just spread into the edges of the napkin. No excess water in there. Now, let's see if you do so happen to put too much water in there. Oops, I over poured. So once you over pour, it's, uh, it's plainly obvious because the seeds will move around in there. It's just uh, a lot of water. You can, you can just basically tell. You can see it gathered up down there. When you put a little bit too much water, this is how I, um, Get it out. I like to kind of pinch the bag a little bit so those seeds don't slide downwards into the sink. I do not want them going down there. Laying it toward the, laying it toward the corner. Just let it pour out. Once the excess is out, the seeds are uh, now in the process of germinating. Now how I obtain the upright seedlings. These bags right here are right here for a reason. I like to stand the bag up. Hold on, let me fix this angle. All right, I like to stand the bag up and sandwich it between another bag or just something that will. Uh, I like. I like to basically sandwich it between something that will hold the bag upright. Now you can see the bag is standing upright. Within a couple of weeks. Um, Royal Golden would basically look like this. Uh, not as many seedlings because I obviously put a lot more Crimson Sweet seedling, Seeds in here, but that's basically how it'll look. Um, normally, I, I might have four or five varieties started, and I would just basically have them between in their own crevices. So one right there, one right there. If I were to start another variety, I would bring this bag right here and slide it right there. So that's Royal Golden. And we're gonna transplant that together in a couple of weeks. But um, today, later on today, what we're gonna do is Crimson Sweet. We're gonna um, transplant this together. So that's what I have right now, y'all. That's exactly how I started these uh, Crimson Sweet seedlings. That's exactly how I started the Desert King um, that we sold to, uh, together yes yesterday, or that we transplanted together yesterday. Um, also did Yenny Donya, transplanted those into containers to go onto the farm. And I also did Haru Madu like this, Haru Madu Melon, and I also did Madu Ra Melon, all the same way, just like this. So that's that, y'all. I hope y'all have a green summer. See y'all in the next one.